Well, how do you do there, creators? I'm gonna cut straight to it. The Transition Bundle is our favorite pack on the Creator Effects website. And if you're actually taking the time to watch this video right now, we have a pretty good feeling that it's perfect for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you, number one, if I could count right, number one, how easy it is to use, number two, how great it is for all different types of creators, and number three, most importantly, why you need to add it to your editing tool belt. Well, I'll we'll move on from that one. I'm just gonna walk out. All right, folks, now let's hop right in. So once you download, you're gonna open a folder like this. All of these will be expanded. You'll see Blue Future, Fast Film, Flaming Glitch, all of this stuff. And you'll be able to watch and look at the tutorials. Or if you know what you're doing, you can just pop right in. So let's open up our editing software. It really doesn't matter what software you use. I'm personally using Final Cut. You can use DaVinci, Premiere, After Effects, anything that allows you to change the blend mode like this. So. Here are some examples of the transitions in the pack. I think they're pretty cool and unique and offer a lot of variety. So here is one example of someone using it in their project. Boom, right there. Smooth and clean, that blue one right there. Perfect, it really helps accent and transition all these different points, conveying speed. So this is how easy it is to use. You see how they're in here, right on top of the timeline. All you're gonna do pop into transitions. Let's do flicker, future flicker two. Drag it right in there, perfect. And then once it's on there, you're like, oh, why is the back of it black? Easy fix, baby. This is exactly how you do it. Change the blend mode to add. And on all editing softwares, they're gonna have this blend mode feature. Um, it's mostly up there. Premiere is at the top as well. Well, same with DaVinci. So now it's here. If the transition's too slow or too fast, um, most of the time it's too slow. Command N for that, just basically speed it up to fit whatever needs you have. And let's check it out on this video. This video is pretty good for transitions. So now this is what some of them look like just randomly placed. But as you can see, there's different energy to each transition, which is why this is so good for so many different types of creators. What these transitions are great for is blending the static shots with action shots. So that transition could have been smoother if they had used this wipe, this quick wipe from the Blue Future transition pack. So let's get in between these two, slide it on over, boom, okay, awesome. So now, check this out, boom. Your eyes are just drawn right into it and it's clean, it's not a cringy transition, it looks pretty cool. Um, and then for more of the action packed, you know, they're kind of, they're getting, they look, they're getting into it. Um, and they're getting into it there too. Let's do right here, because it's kind of dark and, and feels good. Um, I would say, let's try both of these. Let's try maybe this first. So say you're trying to transition from this medium to wide shot to this close up shot of the feet, and you want to get something just grungy in there. Boom. That's your grunge example, and you can go much more clean. You know, something like this adds more, boom. That looks pretty modern and, and futuristic. I like that a lot. And if you wanna go full extreme, you can use, you know, these flame transitions. Those are great sped up really quickly. Boom, boom, awesome. So just to recap, number one, they're easy to use. All you do is just drag it right into here over where you want to transition. Change the blend mode, boom, now you're at it. They're good for different projects, like see how fast paced in motion this one's, how well the transitions work with that. You can also see how slower pace, um, these transitions really blend things so well. Um, and even on our friend Jordan Pulmano's tech reviews, look at how clean that is. Such a great intro and really just classes things up and shows you the versatility of these um, effects. You know, he does some high quality stuff here and it really matches his style. I can even just throw it in random places and a lot of the times it looks great. So that just shows you how good these things are. Like, look at that. I mean, that looks cool already. If you make music videos, these are exactly perfect. Travel videos, anything with a mix of slow and fast, which is basically any type of video. And you can make it as grungy or as clean as you want. Um, like you showed here and on these, you know, that's pretty clean. And we have examples here that are more grungy. 
So that ties into why this pack is perfect for you specifically. It's great for the all around editor who like most of us is creating so many different types of videos. You know, there's some to keep the rent paid and some for fun, but that's what's great about this pack. It encompasses all of that from company videos to awesome explorer travel videos. It's really great for every, and it's so much value packed into this one combo. There's really no going wrong with. We stand by it, we love it, we use it on every project. You can see high quality editors and on bigger budgets, they use these too. Feel free to check out the rest of the product page. I hope I answered your questions here and I'm excited to see what you create with this transition bundle. So thanks for watching and I hope you get to experience firsthand how great the transition bundle is for every single project. And with that, I'll see you in the FX in timeline. Thanks for watching and take care.